Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin Traveling in the world of my creation What we'll see will defy explanation If you want to view paradise Simply look around and view it Anything you want to do it Want to change the world There's nothing to it Okay, I'm back again, session number two and this time we're going to start with the green grass the green grass that was here and then the little rocks that went around here and that's up there on the picture. That's what we're going to work on today. And we're going to uh, put the two little shrubs in and that, that sort of thing. I hope you're happy with your trees that you've got. If not, you can go back again and kind of tweak them as we go with them. Still with the same brush. So she has to remind me. I'm glad you do. I'm still using a flat, the medium type flat brush. Okay. And uh, I may, I'm still going to stick with that for a while. We'll pick up other brushes here as we go along. But I'm going to go ahead here and make a dark line. I'm going to take the sap green and Prussian uh, blue and just kind of come along with a horizon line. Just kind of make it dark all the way across. All the way to the brown, uh, the, not this pinkish color. I'm stopping here, right on this edge where this is, I'm stopping. And I'm going to go all the way across. Just let it be kind of rough. And then I'm going to take, the, keep the brush. I'm going to wipe the brush off. Not put it in water, just wipe it off. Remember, it's the same flat brush. And I'm putting it in that lime green color. And we want to make the shape of the uh, land. So everybody's going to be a little different, but it's not. It's going to be a little um, not straight. It's going to kind of flow. Oh. Kind of the edge of a, a lake, so it's going to be up and down and around and however you want to do, but that's pretty much how mine's going to be. I can always change it. So I just drew a little line of the basic shape of the grass, and I'm going to put this green in here. I'm going to have to add other colors to it with that blue underneath it. It's still kind of dark, but that's okay. We'll put a base coat with the green and a little bit of this um, unbleached titanium. That'll help lighten it. And I'm going to just put a um, base coat on. And uh, then we'll go back. We need to put some more trunks and stuff under the on the trees, which we can do after we get this grass. We needed to get this base coat on here. Some. I'm going to put this as uh, that unbleached titanium. I'm going to put some of that on this here in spots to give it some uh, different colorations of this green. I might even put some more sap green with it. Just, I'm just brushing it back and forth, just trying to cover it. Because it uh, is going to have all different colors. Of kind of different shades of green in it as we go along, but you can use a fatter brush as you get down here if you want to. I just didn't change it. But you can change on to a fatter brush, it will cover quicker if you are so inclined. Again, this is just going to be the base. So we're just trying to get it covered, get that blue covered. And it has some darkness in it with the blue shining under, I mean, coming through in parts. So 
that's not bad either. It's kind of drying pretty fast in here today. So, I only had to use a hair dryer once. You can paint this on a smaller canvas, at, yeah, 11 by 14 size if you want to. There's no pattern or anything, so it really wouldn't make any difference. I wouldn't paint any smaller than that. You could paint it bigger than that, this, if you wanted to. So, so I wanted to do something that didn't have a pattern because that'd be a little bit impossible to get a pattern to everybody, and you guys don't need patterns anyway. Okay. I might take some regular green that sap green and mix with this olive green put a little I'm going over it now some of it the second time making a little bit shorter strokes I've mixed a little bit of sap green on my brush with this uh, kind of lime green color make it a little bit darker see We'll go back and add some light and some shadows and um, make some grass come up here and there as we work on this. I, mean, I could turn the lights on on this too. Is this painting light enough on the... Well, you could turn it on. Well, I didn't know. I forgot to turn these on. I usually always do. Is that helping? Yeah. <laughs> because I realized you wanted to turn the ceiling light on. That's my yeah. Guess. I think that looks good. Okay. I can turn the other side on too if you want. I just didn't want to glare. The more light, the better. Is it? Yeah. Okay, director. <laughs> director lady. <laughs> there you go. It's looking good. So far, we've kept on schedule with it. Yeah. This is this was kind of hard for me to figure out how to do this, guys, in the in increments because we usually just stop whenever. But um, I think it's going to work. Yeah. We're winging it. Yep, we are. We're winging it. Yeah. We're trying to figure it out as we go. Got the green here. We're going to add the the rocks. So I'm going to. I'm going to clean the brush off a little bit, but I'm going to keep the same brush. It seems to be a good it's size. Again, there's, they come something different. And you know me, I'm, I'm like the filberts, and for some reason this flat brush seems to be working good on this, so I'm not going to mess up a good thing. I'm going to start from the green part down and just lay the brush kind of flat, and I'm, I'm starting to make um, rocks kind of on the creek, I mean the lake, on the edge. That's what this is going to be. So they aren't going to be exactly perfect little shapes because they're just kind of the edge of the lake and a little some rock or sand or whatever there and maybe there's one here and this is that titanium unbleached titanium again maybe this one goes this way this is just giving us some uh, the base coats of it. Let's see how did, this goes maybe here. If you have to go up into the green because you think you did you need to cut in there more, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I need to pull it out like it kind of goes into the water, you know. that way. And this kind of goes this way. This is just the base. That's probably good enough for that. Because they don't have to be all the way around it. 
I mean, this right here could be a little more. Now, we're going to go ahead and get some, keep the dirty brush and get that raw umber, that brown color, get on the edge of that. And I'm just going to come, there's dirt here between the water and the, I'm just kind of pulling it up from the rock. I'm kind of pulling that part of the rock color up into the grass and coming around the edges there with the same brush I've been using. Need a little more of the, I'm going to stick it in the water a little bit because it's, the reason I'm doing this, this paint's a little dry today and uh, that helps it move better. So I make, I'm again holding the skinny part and just kind of pulling it up, jiggling it kind of like the dirt would be there between the, the uh, grass and the water. Get me a little more. Kind of just jiggle all the way around the um, edges. So you get how you get enough of them on there. This right here. I'm going to put light color. I'm going to keep. So I'm going to stop there. Now I'll come back here and just kind of, how did I do that? Just kind of fill in this and then add a little brown here. This is in the water. And um, then I'll come back down with the rocks. Because the reflections of these are going to end up down here. It's going to be kind of a messy looking thing in the beginning, just like it was up there, but it'll all come together. I'm going to wipe the brush off and uh, go back to my rocks now and kind of just add another coat. And it's okay if I pull some of this brown in it at the bottom and the top, just make it a little bit jiggity. Pookie would go to sleep. <laughs> he knew. He, yeah, he did. I had him all upset. <laughs> a mask. Christine came in with that mask on and scared the heck out of me. <laughs> he went, What is this? Yeah, he, he was hard. He's harmless, but he looked like he was, he was not scared happy. to death of me. <laughs> yeah, so I decided I'd put him in his little house. That's what he, that's what we call it, his house. And my mask's even got flowers on it. I know, I wonder what was wrong with him. It's happy, happy mask. <laughs> I should have had cheeseburgers or something yeah. on my mask. <laughs> Dog yeah. treats. Yeah, there you go. I knew he'd be quiet when I put him in there. I told you he would. He seems to feel safe in there. Mm -hmm. And now if we let him out now, he'd be your friend, but I'm not going to bother with it. He can just stay where he is. He's having him a, a nappy nap. Siesta, yeah. He goes in there and naps during the day by himself. Okay, these little Rockies are looking okay. We come back and take care of them. And then we're going to paint these bushes that are on the ground. I'm going to make um, a little more work on these rocks, I think. I think I'll put a little color or something with them, maybe a little yellow ochre with the brush that's got the titanium. Give it a little bit of a color to it in spots. But you can do that or not do it. You can add color to it or not. That's up to you. back to those as we need to. I'm going to wash this off. Keep this same brush. It's kind of been a good brush. I'm going to keep it. And take this Prussian blue and put with that uh, lavender color, that purple that you've got on your palette. 
and make it a very dark purple. And we're going to put that blue purple, um, purpley shrub about right here. That's where the base of it's going to be. And then I, how did I put that on? I put it on like this. Is this? Now, yeah, that's dry enough. If it isn't dry, use the hair dryer, but mine's dry, so. I'm using a dark base. I'm just dabbing it. I want to get the shape of the um, shape of this purpley thing. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of pretty. Nice color. It goes kind of up overlap, and that's kind of big. There, gets that in there. And I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Add a little bit of the, a pink color to it that you have there, or you could put a, you could put a little beige color with it, or just make it just have it get a little lighter. You'll see now this will be lighter looking. See. Pull it up. Uh, it kind of kind of flare out here and there, little teeny branches that went are wild on us. I'm just kind of dabbing it on the skinny part of the uh, brush and it's just making it look like this because I'm not at, not overlapping too I'm not overlapping the colors so that they'll be gone and be one color I'm trying to get all the colors in there I'm gonna stick it back with that dark color again and kind of put it here and there I like this painting because it looks kind of fall no uh -huh, that's why I, chose, I thought it'd be nice to put some fall things because whether we want to or not, we're going into fall. <laughs> Summer's about over. That's why I liked it too. And the nice thing about it is you can make it any colors you want. Yeah. Because uh, you don't have to have it exactly the same colors that I do. Fall colors are my favorite colors. Are they? Yeah. Well, then this would be a good one for you to do. Yes. If you don't have paints and stuff, call me. <laughs> I'll set you up. Oh, thank you. I've got plenty of stuff you can use to see how you like it. Because see, we don't even get to teach at the library. Oh. So I've got all the stuff in the garage. I've got so many paints and things. I can give you stuff. Yeah, I haven't painted for, gosh, probably 10 years. Well, well it's time to pick up the brush. Yeah, I loved it. The boys would take a nap and I would paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. Get your mind off the troubles of the world. That's right. Lord knows we have them these days. Yes. I'm trying to get a lighter color here. To make this not there we go. What did you use to paint? Bob Ross. Oh, okay. I I bought the the VHS tapes, mm -hmm. and I would pause it because he was just yeah he's he, fast. Yeah, he'd just get it on there, and I'd be back there still <laughs> drawing a line. So I'd have to pause it and catch up with him. You made a step in the right direction then. Already yeah. starting. Yeah, see this is starting to have a little bit of shape to it. This painting is just kind of lights and darks. We'll put shadows and things like that with it. We'll move over here and we'll put that other shrub. And it is kind of these colors, I think. So we'll take that peachy color I've got on my palette. And I think it was called Naples Yellow. And put a little yellow ochre with it. And I'm going to put it hmm, about here. And it goes up to there. 
roughly. I'm just trying to get the shape in. Now, I'm going to clean the brush. It's got purple in it, I see. I think, for, I think, I don't know if I did or not, but I think I'm going to try. I said to bring a sponge, and I can't remember which one of these I used a sponge on. So I think I'll do it on this. You take a little, your sponge that I've got on the list, and you get it in the water and wring it out. You don't want it to be, you want it to be just damp, but you have to get it good and wet once it's dried. It's, it's these um, natural sponges, is what they are. And the ones of you who have taken classes with me before have used them. The other ones, it, they're just a real simple natural sponge. It doesn't have to, you squeeze it together now. You've got it wet, you squeeze it all together, you got a little bit here. And dip it in whatever color you're going to paint to make your tree or shrub or, and see how it's on there. And we're going to give it a different, see how it looks, kind of glommy, I guess is the word. <laughs> this is the word I'm giving it, glommy. Glomming. Glommy. I'm glomming it on. It's a new technique. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look it up in the dictionary and it'll be Sue dabbing on the paint with her, <laughs> she her gl she's glomming it there and you can see through it now I've got I've got it now that I've got it on there I'm going to go back with my brush and uh, put some dark underneath it before I do any more glomming or anything I put the brown of the umber on the bottom of this I'm kind of planting it if you will I'm giving it some a place otherwise they're just floating that's kind of where the shadowing is here, and it's coming off, shading it all the way off. You know, there it is. Just kind of light circles around the edge, just kind of softening those edges up. And I'm going to get some lighter shades and. Go over my gloms. This is that titanium, unbleached titanium again. Then I'm going to add other colors to it here after I get this on there. And I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there. And edges keep them loose, you know, though you don't want to be just one big ball. You can just do the edge with just the edge of the brush, the little side part, not the fat part. And it's okay to see through it. We'll add other colors to it. We'll put a maybe I'll put some of this brighter orange color. I haven't used it. Let's see what happens here. I don't know what color that is. It's a uh, color, a medium yellow, I would think it is. But you know, different brands, I can have one that says medium yellow of one brand, you can have it of the, another brand and it looks like a completely different color. So, as long as you have fall colors and you like the colors, that's all that matters. I think I'm going to put some branches in there before I do anything else to that. So before I do that, I'm going to kind of go back and fill in my trees a little more back here as I think they need it, or because I need to um, fix the. I want to make that darker back in there. I'm going to put some more trunks back in here. And, That was my ice maker. <laughs> I was wondering, I thought somebody coming in. <laughs> what you got coming in here, Sue? <laughs> We're moving right along here, aren't we, with this? Yeah. Let's it's see. turning out pretty nice. I hope so. It's like watching a TV show. Yeah. Watching a TV show. <laughs> like a comedy, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I could sit and watch for hours these painting. 
<laughs> like it, it starts off looking like nothing and slowly comes into something. Yeah, and then you start putting stuff on it, and you're like, "What in the world?" And then all of a sudden, boom! It looks like something's there. Yeah. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for these kind of to dry a little bit, so I'm going to play with my trees a little bit more. Because I can. And you can too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. It's your painting. <laughs> That's right. And you know, it's like I tell everybody, you can get on, you, I'm using it, doing it this way, and you can get online, you'll find 15 different artists doing it 15 different ways. Yes. So, what's the right way? I don't know. Whatever works for you is what I say. I can only show you how I do it. That doesn't mean it's right. Well, is there really a right in painting? In my opinion, no, but some but other people might disagree. Yeah. Because, you know, they... I think theirs is the way you do it, I guess. I think it's in the eye of the beholder of the artist. There you go. I like that. Yes. I'm putting the shadow in on this guy, too. Giving him, giving him a purpose. Now I'm going to put some more lighter green. I'm going to take this light green color we have and put yellow with it. Which will... Make it even lighter. And if you try to lighten greens with uh, white, I don't think it's a good thing to do because most of the time when you use white to lighten your greens, you get a minty shade. So when you want to lighten your green, you're better off to use a yellow or a cream color because you'll get a much more ple pleasing shade. Unless you're wanting something like a mint color. But basically, you... You don't want it, your grass to look mint green, necessarily. I'm putting this in here in spots, and you can see it gets lighter and darker. I'm not covering all the dark spots. And just add a little extra yellow here and there. We're going to use the fan brush and pull some grass up here in a minute. And you're just, t just taking this brush and... You know, just here and there. See how different colors come out on, off from the brush because the brush has been kept dirty. And then it makes it makes your painting more interesting. Have a little color in there. Now I'm going to take a fan brush. A fan brush looks like a fan. Ta da! It comes all shapes, sizes. This is a small little fan brush. And you, when you use a fan brush, you want the paint to be thinner than normal. So you stick it in the water. And stick it in that yellow and green mixture. And you hold it like this, and you just pull up grass. Whoops, that's too thin. Bad, bad, bad. I'll have to get that fixed real quick there. So I'm going to get some of the water off the brush. I think I need a little darker, too. So I'm going to get in the dark and paint some dark grasses. Now that's not enough water. You have to get it just kind of inky, they say, whoever they are. And you want to just get you some grass growing here and there. And you can always come back and take your brush if you'd like. You say, gee, that's just too much. I'm going to just do this and go back later. Just have it added some highs and lows. That was because it was not thick enough, so I'm going to fix that right now. But you want to have some uh, different things going on there so it isn't so flat. If you just keep it one color or don't have any uh, lights and darks, it doesn't have that look of 
you know, grass has different heights to it, and all that. Gives it dimension. Yeah, there you go. See, I'm glad I got my <laughs> backup person back here paying attention. Because <laughs> otherwise I feel so alone. <laughs> You're never alone. <laughs> okay, now we'll go back again and... Somebody wants me, don't they? Yeah. Do you want to get it? No. Okay. Half of them I go over and he'll say, scam likely. Oh, yeah. Does yours do that? Mm-hmm. That's why. It probably is because it didn't rank, do as much as it usually does. I always figure they can call me back. Yeah. There's nothing that important going on. My son Chris know what I'm doing. He won't call the life squad or something. <laughs> Nine one one, I'm on for you. Yeah, <laughs> they be looking. Yeah, he's looking for me if I would take the dog a walk. But he knows what I'm doing today. See how this is making little grassy areas. See, that's a little thick. That's what I mean about keeping it. This looks more natural, and they aren't straight all the way. You can also turn on the skinny side. And uh, just do, you know, one or two grasses like that, as opposed to a bunch like that. And this, I'm going to thin down like that. Yeah. This will be just a few. All right, now... I'm going to make some, um, I'm going to use a script brush. A script brush is a brush that's got long hair on it, like that. Some are even longer than that. And that it gives you, um, you can make thin, thin lines and things like that. I'm going to wet this down. Again, it has to be thinner paint also, just like your uh, rake brush, uh, fan brush was. I'm going to take this and get the brush wet and put it in this, uh, brown, raw umber, and roll it. I'm rolling it around in there so the paint's on the brush. And I'm going to give some, uh, barely touching the canvas, some branches to this. And just let the brush do whatever. I'm just letting the brush uh, go however it wants to go. I'm not putting any pressure on it because if, if you press the more you press, the thicker it's going to get. And you don't want it too terribly thick. And we're going to go over this some more as we add some more fluff to it. But um, anyway, I'm going to go back to my... What am I going to use? I'm going to use my... Oh, I'm going to use a round brush, I think. Or maybe a filbert. I'll go ahead and go back to a filbert brush to work on this. I mean, that's what a filbert brush looks yeah, like. The filbert's what we told before. It's straight on the side up and curved at the top. Okay. And uh, that's the filbert. And I'm going to take the peachy color and just put it on the top and dab around here. And you go over some of the branches, but not you, know, you still want to let some of the branches show through. And if we want that to get a little darker, I think I do. I'm going to stick that in that bra that brush in the uh, brown color. And let's see if it's not too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. I'm going to stick it back in the peach color too. There you go. And see if we can get a little darker. Maybe even the yellow ochre. There you go. Now, okay, we're almost finished with the, our second part of this painting. So what I'm going to do is just add, fill this tree out, a little, these trees here out a little bit more, and then we will uh, 
stop until next week. So let's go ahead and get the um, unbleached titanium with the peachy colored maybe on the same old brush we've been using and pull this out. I want these to be a little bit fuller. So I'm going to kind of dab them around to get them like I want them here. And remember, you can work on these all week. You can make change, make changes in it if you want to, and uh, be ready to start on what we're going to do next week. Is finish the um, this area here and draw our reflections in, get our reflections going, get down to the serious part of it now. There, this is getting better. Okay, I think we're done with this. I'm just going to fill this tree out again some more. He's just not suiting me. Okay, so this will be all for this week. We'll see you next week with uh, filling in here and working on our reflections in the water. See you next time.